All right, this is a Volvo Penta 3.0 GLS-J. That's the model number. It's a GM block equipped with a Volvo Penta. We're gonna be checking out the raw water impeller. I want to see if this impeller is good or not. I never checked. Uh, I own this boat for two years, so let's see how it is. Uh, looks like you have to take all of these three screws. There are only three. And then you can pull this back. The impeller should be in this housing. And there must be a gasket right here. So let's check it out. I'll put this here. is already pretty loose so I'll just go like this one is out two is out and three all right so let me well actually oh Look at that, there is actually another one here. So it's four screws. That's why it wasn't coming off. Again, let's go keep on working on this one. More water leaking. Maybe it didn't get all the way. So look at that. Definitely needs a replacement. Some things are broken. And here's the gasket. Nothing wrong here. But this doesn't look good. Again, back to tripod here. Let me see how can I pull this up. So there you have it. Both have been running with this broke impeller for a while now. I don't know why I never checked this, but definitely needs a new part. I'll be ordering this and replacing. This is the original Volvo Penta. There is a part number here I'll link I'll add the part number in the description for this particular model. But as you can see, the inside is okay, right? It's all brass. But this part's not good. It needs to be replaced. So here we are with the old part. Very damaged. I'm gonna open this box with the new part. See, 
perfect new rubber I'll be replacing this uh, rubber right now I will speed up the, the video so it's a little bit shorter but basically you gotta pull oh and that's the gasket you just need one taking a bot taking the old gasket off with the pliers or a small screwdriver remove that get your new gasket your new o-ring I think this can be used in different models so it comes with different uh, o-rings and different gaskets I'm just putting the new one in there you can use water so water soap but already has some water in there so I'm just going to look with that same, same water just press in place don't need to worry about the orientation see how it's bent doesn't really matter which way you put it in there as the engine starts it will orientate to the right and correct position you gotta be careful when you, you place it the back the screws are not symmetrical so you need to align the back plates I started these two bolts on top I thought it would be in the right position but in the end I had to, to remove and put it back because it was not aligned so I had to align it back and put it back so now I'm removing the pump once more because as I said it wasn't aligned properly the gasket falling there no problem I rotate that back plate put the cask that the gasket back in place and that was the correct orientation that all four screws would line up with the back plate just jig around and screw it all the way in going a little bit faster now as you can see it's pretty easy uh, to replace this impeller I hope that this video helped you on how to replace the impeller of your boat um, if you have not subscribed please consider as I said on the previous videos I'll be doing a lot of uh, regular maintenance on this engine on this boat so hopefully this can help anyone looking out for information thank you for watching and I see you on the next video thank you bye